Hey everybody, what's going on? So today we're going to be looking at the new Unreal Engine 5 settings in Fortnite. That's right. So this kind of gives us a real world kind of, you know, performance of Unreal Engine 5. Um, so we're going to go through some of the settings here. They do have their quality presets, which you can go through and you can set for, you know, uh, you know, low, medium, high, epic, custom, and epic is just obviously crazy. You've got there. So now it seems they've removed DLSS. What is DLSS? Well, DLSS was the, you know, NVIDIA's super resolution, essentially. Their temporal, you know, scaling thing. And it seems that they've gone towards their own temporal super resolution, and they have a whole bunch here. So they got off, FAA, T TAA, TSR low, TSR medium, TSI high, epic. Um, and we're going to go through the difference. We'll actually go in game and we'll, we'll change those. So I'm going to leave it on epic right now. Uh, temporal super resolution here. You can see here um, they've got Unreal Temperature really displays a similar detailed images to release load on your GPU for each frame. When enabled, it allows you to prioritize performance or quality recommended default um, selects the three that base works best for your display resolution performance prioritize frame rate over final image quality by rendering a lower resolution you have balance quality and then native so natives like your native resolution so right now you can see where it says 3d resolution there so as you move through the different things you can see the 3d resolution change so what does that mean well it means that your graphics card is going to do half the resolution and then it's going to use AI to upscale it or machine learning as they call it. So if you actually look here, my my thing is two, uh, you know, 2560 by it's a 1440 monitor. So what it's going to do is Fortnite is going to render it at 50% and then it's going to, you know, I mean, upscale it to 100% for you. All right, Nanite Virtualized Geometry. So this you can't turn on or off in game. You gotta wait until you're in the main menu. Uh, and what happens here is, as you can see, they've got uh, Nanite Virtualized Geometry, high-end uh, high geometry rendering through Nanite, which improves geometry detail, but can lower frame rate. Virtual Shadow Maps, which is their new um, shadows in Unreal Engine 5, will be used when Nanite is enabled for higher quality shadowing. So I have that on. Um, essentially, if you want, you can take a look at one of my other videos. Uh, what Nanite means for, you know, I mean, Fortnite gamers compared to people who already know the Unreal Engine, it means that there's no level of detail swapping. And if you don't know what that means is that there's multiple models of a similar object. So, for example, if you have a house, when you look at it in the distance, or even a tree, when you look at it in the distance, you'll notice that the tree is actually changing as you're getting close to it. And now that is not the case. It's always going to show the high resolution model, but based on their nan nanite technology, their virtualized geometry, it's going to still save you frames. All right, so uh, virtualized shadows, obviously they've got medium, high, and epic. I'm going to leave them off right now because uh, I don't have a crazy video card, but we are going to turn them on. We're going to go epic for everything once we get in game. Um, you know, I'm just going to turn epic for everything, and then we're going to come back. I'll have to come back to this. We're just going to go epic, everybody. Boom, epic. And then we're going to go through. Hopefully it doesn't crash. There we go. So we're going epic on everything. This is going to be crazy. Uh, we're going to see how everything turns out. And then, of course, we have hardware ray trace. If you want to turn that on or off, I'm just going to leave that off for now. And, of course, show FPS so I can actually see what's going on on all right let's go back here and we are going to get into the game all right what is up everybody so essentially here it is this is like literally fortnite with all the settings on nanite virtual geometry so essentially i'm just going to build up quickly all right and here we go all right and what's going to happen here is oh Nope, I need more mats. Let me get some more mats. Took some fall damage. Let's go. I'm going to die before the game even happens here. This is going to be fun. Let's get some mats. 
love the effects and everything that's happened. You get like these little shards that are coming out now from the trees, which are sick. And this is all in epic quality, guys. Right now, I'm in epic quality. Here we go. I got some mats now. So I'm going to build up so I can show you guys the Nanite virtual geometry. Let's see how high I can go. I got five more builds. Four, three, two, one. There we go. So essentially, that is essentially the Nanite virtual geometry. So you can see there, as you can see, the trees don't change based on distance. Nothing is changing. All right, so everything is like amazing. So this is really good. But you can see, even on a 3080, I'm taking a hit. I'm taking a huge hit here in terms of FPS. But I am using TSR. I am using TSR. If I was not using that, that frame rate would be lower. So we're going to show that right now. I'm going to go through all the different stuff. All right, we're going to go through the TSR right now. Here we go. We're going to go here to settings. All right, so we got temporal super resolution. I'm going to turn it to, you know what? Let's turn it to cust, uh, native. Let's turn it to native resolution. I'm going to hit apply, and we're going to hit back. And now you can see my frame rate is at like 40 frames, 37 frames. All right, so if you go through there, you're going to see here the temporal super resolution again. Right now, we're on native, so now let me go to quality. So this is still going to be good, 66% resolution here. There we go, and now jump to about my lowest. Let me move around so you can kind of see here. Around 50 frames per second. 50, we got some cool effects going on there, cool. So 50 frames per second, excellent. And then now we're going to go to settings. We're going to go to quality. We're going to go to, let's go performance. And you can go custom. So that's what's really cool. I'm going to go, I'll, I'm going to do custom after. And we're going to see if we notice anything. So here we're at 60, we're going to get a little more frames, about 60, 61 frames. We're going to get a couple more frames moving from those. So let's go to custom now and see if we start, when do we start actually noticing a difference? So let's go here to custom. There we go, and we're gonna bring this down. Oh, I can't go lower than 50, no way. It won't let me go lower than 50. All right, that's fine. We're gonna stay at there, apply. All right, so virtual shadows we've got on Epic. Uh, let's go to high, let's see what that does. So we know we're around the 60 frame mark. So that now brings us down to, that's a 70, so you gain 70 there. That's pretty cool. All right, let's go shadows. Do, 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 do. Let's go shadows medium, virtual shadows medium. We're gonna hit apply there, go back. And we're still getting around the same amount of frames. That's interesting. So between medium and high, I'm gonna look at the ground here. I really don't see much of a difference between that. Like virtual shadows medium or high. Let's go here, high, I'm gonna hit apply again. Still around 70 frames, that's crazy. Okay, so. That doesn't really make much of a difference on a 3080. And then, of course, if we go off, if we turn shadows off, we get a huge, huge, huge boost. But now, obviously, shadows make a world of a difference. Shadows make a huge, huge difference. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to play with some of the other settings here. Um, you have global illumination, reflections. So we'll check a look at the water in a second. And then we are going to go to global illumination so we're on lumen epic let's go high let's see if we notice a difference here not much difference and not much difference in terms of frame rate let's keep checking i want to get to like the 140 mark 144 because that's what my well my, that's what my monitor is so let's go global illumination so now we can actually change it to ambient occlusion or we can turn it off let's go ambient occlusions hit apply Still looks pretty good. Just having those shadows, though, is like, is just crazy. Let me see here on reflections here. Let's see if we can, like, find a good spot to, like, see reflections. Because right now, and I'm getting a decent frame rate on ambient occlusion and lumen reflections right now, which is pretty cool. So you can see right now, 
getting some cool reflections of the house, which is pretty neat. You can see that. And let's go through the different reflections and see the different settings there. All right, so we're going to go to, we are on Reflections Lumen Epic. Let's go Lumen High. I'm going to go here. That still looks really, really good. All right, we're going to go now to Lumen. Uh, now it's literally, it's going to go to Screen Space. So now we're going to go to Screen Space, hit Apply, and go back. So the difference between Screen Space, you can see as I, see as I move down, what that means is in screen space, screen space looks really good. Don't get me wrong. And you, you get a higher, you should be getting a higher frame. Like I'm at 130 right now. I'm going to have to move to zone uh, so that we can see this. But you are getting a better reflection or you can just turn reflections off. So let's see if we go here. We're going to go, I think we're, I think we're headed towards the snow mountain here. Okay, we got some oh look at okay this is a, this is going to be a really good spot right now for reflections you can see here the screen space so as i move down and i don't see any more screen now you can see the reflections so if i turn screen space back on so let me go or uh, lumen back on let me see how many frames I, I lose there you can see i'm still getting screen space actually that's weird that's not supposed to be happening it must be something hand in hand but you're getting some awesome reflections and i'm still at like one four that's actually really good i'm gonna turn off reflections now so we have reflections let's just turn them off and see what happens no reflections but my card is barely taking a hit right now that's crazy my card right now is barely taking a hit in terms of reflections so if i turn that back on Let's see your settings, reflections. I'm gonna turn that lumen high. Let's see what happens. Barely taking a hit there. Just looking at the frames. What's cool is you get these footprints now in Fortnite. That's hilarious. They do disappear. So that's, um, that is definitely what they call, um, Ah, oh my goodness, I'm trying to think of the word. Decals, that's the word I'm looking for, decals. Oh, look at the shards break, this is pretty sick. So once again, this is a 5600 card, um, you know what I mean, or 5600 AMD with a with a 3080 card that is, it's cool. so let's see what other settings they have here or let's go in through the other settings see what changes let's go here settings uh effects and post processing so if i want i can turn these down to get a little bit more performance but you're gonna lose those cool effects like so like right now obviously the snow popping up off my feet the you know, i mean the shards coming off the tree there which is pretty cool other things too like there's a rock and i start to see it cracking let me hit this one over here there we go so all those cool little effects that you get i yeah i mean i'm not taking a crazy crazy hit i i don't know how it's gonna be with more people in the scene but really it's yeah i mean trying to like do all this stuff and i did it in builder mode so that we can like figure this out so that's pretty cool let me know what you guys think but definitely obviously there's something in here oh i hear a chest here somewhere Can I pick that up? Oh, I can. Oh, I can hide in it? What? No way. I can actually hide in snow. That's cool. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Fortnite. <laughs> I can jump out of it. But it's pretty cool. You can see now the LODs do not show. Oh, I just got a frame glitch there. So that moved me to like 14 frames. So... 
So even with everything on Epic, I still get pretty good, but I think the Nanite virtualized geometry is pretty cool because the fact is, and here's a DMR, for example, where you can zoom in and you can see all the detail in the background. That's really cool. That is very, very cool. I like that. I like the fact that you can see like all the geometry and everything. That is really, really cool. You know what I mean? You can like go up here and just like zoom in and nothing is blurred out or LODs or anything. That's pretty sick. Hey, check it out. <laughs> all right, guys. Hope you had fun. This is the new season of Fortnite using using the new Unreal Engine. I don't know if they're using 5.2 or what they're using, but definitely, you know, hit up that like, hit up that subscribe, and we're gonna have some fun. If you guys wanna see some other cool settings, some other cool features, let me know in the description. Let's go. All new settings, figure it out for Fortnite. All good. There we go, have some fun. I'm about to jump off and kill myself and give nobody the battle royale. Here we go, and jump up! Oh, I didn't kill myself. Let's do it one more time. Wow, five health. All right, guys, have a good one.